Okay, so here we are in Xcode, and what all we're going to be doing is we're going to replace this NS number object here, and we're going to replace it with two new NS number objects, and then we're going to add it to um, a new NS mutable array that we're going to create. We're going to add those two objects to that array, and then we're going to pass those two objects from that array through the spend dollars method in two different ways, and then we're going to do a little other bit of tweaking to our program along the way. So we have a lot to do, and this will be a little bit longer of a coding video, but uh, let's go ahead and get to it. So the first thing you can do is you can just delete that old uh, number dollars in Europe. And what we're going to name the new ones is we're going to name them, uh, they're still going to be NS numbers and everything, but we're going to name them uh, Europe Dollar Transaction. And then we're gonna, oh, oops, NS number. Then we're gonna allocate some memory, initialize it with double value of 100. And then we're gonna create another one, name that Europe dollar transaction two. Then we're gonna allocate some memory and initialize this one with the value of 200. Okie dokie. Now, we're going to create an NS mutable array. And like I went over in the keynote, it's, bas it's the same uh, basic setup that you've been used to for creating uh, objects. And hold on, wait, before I actually create that NS mutable array, I forgot to put the asterisks in here. So you always have to have the asterisk because you're always creating a pointer to the object, not the actual object. Same thing, NS mutable array, asterisk, Europe, transactions, equals NS mutable array. And then we're going to allocate some memory and initialize it with a capacity of 1. Even though we're going to put two objects in it, um, I'm going to initialize it with a capacity of 1 just to show you how um, the NS mutable array is truly mutable. Now, to adding objects, how do you add these? Well, I went over this, but if you kind of forgot, um, since you saw the keynote, uh, you specify which array, then the add object message, and then which objects you'd like to add this case Europe um, dollar transaction and then Europe transactions add object which one Europe oh, Europe dollar transaction 2 okay so now we've created these two objects and created this mutable array and then we've added the two new objects to the array now that's all great, but how do we really get access to these objects once they're in this array to uh, pass through this spend dollars method here? Well, the first one we're going to use, um, we're going to be using the index of the array, and that's one of the cool things about the array. Everything's at index, and if you remember, this first thing would be at index 0, and the second one would be at index 1, because the index starts counting at 0, not uh, at 1. So remember that. That can... Uh, trip up a lot of people if you don't really remember that. Okay, now the first thing we're going to do is we just need one bracket here and then Europe transactions so you specify the array then the object at index of zero and there we go so we can do this again here. You're at budget, spend dollars, and we're going to pass through the object at index one in this spend dollars message. So if we build and run, everything should build and run correctly. Okay, now there is a little uh, glitch that I forgot. I only closed it out with one bracket. You need two because I forgot to close out that front one. I only closed out this last little statement here. So then we can save all. And now it build and ran correctly. 
and as you can see we have $200 value well we actually have first a hundred dollar value and then we have a two hundred dollar value there just like what we told the program to do now what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go back to the implementation the header file and show you something uh, right here you would usually have to say that this is a double value but you, we didn't have to because back here in the implementation we already said that it was a double value it was an NS number and all that and in the header as well now there's one little thing I wanted to go over that I didn't go over last lesson I should have um, right here the type as you know you put the type inside parentheses um, the type here is NS number but you see this asterisk you may be saying why do we have to have that asterisk well um, let me jump up here and kind of explain something if we we're gonna declare this as a variable we'd say double and then space a budget equals and then assign a value to it if we are going to do the same thing for this we would say NS number asterisk then dollars so uh, NS number asterisk the asterisk is really just kind of included as part of the type here because you're always going to need that asterisk whenever you're declaring an NS number or really any type of object you're always pointing to that object you're not actually declaring that object directly so that's why you have to have that asterisk there and then uh, down here uh, of course saying what type um, of an NS number so NS number is the main type but then double values the type within the type so um, we're gonna replace all this with double and put it back to how it was before last lesson so we can just take out all this double value stuff and down here and there we go now we need to do it in the header file as well and there we go now we can jump back to our main file here and we will need to say at the end of this that this is a double value so put one bracket here and then right after one bracket just put double value and it's kind of confusing like where all to put the brackets and everything when you're coming in and doing this later um, when I was getting ready for recording this I had quite a problem uh, I got all mixed up where to put the brackets and stuff it's a whole lot easier when you do it the first time when you go back and add in stuff it makes it kind of hard but um, also those spend dollars are fine but we also need to change this spend dollars because back here in the implementation and the header files before we had said that this was a double value and this as you remember is an NS number so we have to specify that's a double value because we took out all that stuff so add a little uh, bracket in front there then say it's a double value then close it off with one and then we're all good to go so build and run save all and everything built and ran correctly so as you can see same results as before we weren't expecting anything different just a different way of doing it in the program okay now we're going to use a little bit different method to pass these two objects in this NS mutable array through the spend dollars method uh, so you can just delete right here what we just typed and what we're going to be using is that um, we're going to be using an enumeration the for in which is a spin-off if you remember of the for loop and how it goes is it starts off with four and this says like collect everything um, and place it in this NS number that we're going to create here called a transaction so collect everything and place it in uh, and pass it through this a transaction everything that's in and then you specify which uh, array 
and that is Europe transactions. Now, you put a little curly brace, and then you put uh, the statements, and the statement will be Europe budget spend dollars, and then put a little bracket, a transaction, then double value, and close it all off, and then with the curly brace. Um, of course, we wouldn't have to put double value here if we hadn't changed all that stuff in the implementation the header file that we just changed, but uh, we did change it, so you have to put double value. Um, again, let me just run through this one more time. Don't want to end up rambling about this, but uh, four says collect everything, Id every item, and pass it through this uh, object that we just created and everything in the Europe transaction it will pass through this NS number so right here it, this says that it's a four uh, four in enumeration uh, this creates the object that it um, everything will be passed through one by one and this specifies which uh, array is being accessed to get all the information so let's build and run save all and there we go everything built and ran correctly as you can see the hundred dollars two hundred dollars everything so uh, this is kind of a tricky a little bit more of a tricky concept to understand maybe than most things we've been going over so far but really a cool cool concept because instead of having multiple lines of code because if you did that uh, index thing where you have to specify each index I mean that's gonna take a lot of time there's really no point in using an array if you're gonna do all that but uh, this is really why an array is so so useful you just throw all the information into the array you pass it through one object and then you uh, place that object as the argument and then you're all good to go so a uh, really really cool feature um, that's NS mutable arrays in Objective C. Now, if you have any questions or comments or anything, just tell me about them in the comments section below. I'll do my best to get back to them, but I'm kind of busy sometimes, you know, with school and just life. Also, if you like this video, please like it. Um, I really appreciate all those likes. And uh, be sure to check out some of my other videos. And of course, the main thing if you like these videos and if you've been watching them, please subscribe. Um, that's another thing that helps me know that people are enjoying and liking these videos. Um, the next lesson will be going over just NS arrays. Um, they're not mutable, they're just fixed arrays. And then after that, I'm not sure, we may be going over the debugger, maybe going something even more, but that's a little ways down the road. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching and check out some of my other videos if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Later. Thank you.